What's going on, everybody? It's another Friday night. Ben? What? We missed a week? We did miss a week. You missed a week. Yeah, I missed a week. Had some things going on. So, hey, we're back. Yep. In the fucking freezing ass cold weather again. Yeah, it's cold as fuck. Jesus, yeah. man. Especially the wind. So, if you hear some wind, it's because, yeah. It's, it's fucking, windy. It kind of sucks out here, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, man. All right. So, we've been bringing y'all a bunch of bourbons lately. And so, this week, we decided to switch it up and we're going to get going on a beer. We're going on a beer. beer in a long time. Do a little bit more beer this year, I think. I, I agree with that. Yeah. I think we should mix it up a little bit more. Yeah. So yeah, this this week we got man. See how far those things are down on top of that damn can. Yeah. There we go. Oh, they came out really see. Country Boy Brewing Cougar Bait. Oh man. American Blonde Ale. Oh shit! Look at that thing. Now where'd you pick this up at? Walmart. Walmart. Nine dollars and uh, forty nine cents. Okay, that ain't awful. No, that ain't awful. Shit. So, let's see here. I've never heard of these food. They're out of Kentucky, right? Yeah, Georgetown, Kentucky. Yeah. Brewed and canned there. So, it says uh, on the can here, any fisherman worth his salt will tell you it's all about the bait. Looking for you, you're holding on. You're holding the good stuff. An American blonde ale, clean and crisp, cougar bait is sure to help with your catch, whatever you may be fishing for. <laughs> I like it. These guys are awesome. Hell yeah, I That's like awesome. it. That's awesome. Country boy brown. All right. Definitely down with this. Oh yeah. Blonde sure. ale, American blonde ale. So, all right. Sweet like deal. That. Now, it doesn't say alcohol content. Alcohol content at all on it, does it? It does not. Oh man, I don't like that. Mm. Says 12 full ounces, 35 milliliter, brewing can by Country Boy Brewing in Georgetown, Kentucky. Um, yeah, there ain't nothing on there, is there? No, no, doesn't no. say anything. So I can't tell you about that. Can't tell you tell you about the ABV. Yeah. I'm sure we'll look it up. I'll look it up and see if I can put it on. The, yeah, we'll the put it in the comments. Yeah, yeah. comments, descriptions, whatever. All right, well, ain't nothing to it, but do it, old buddy. Let's crack her open. Got a little of my nose. <laughs> Dive it on in there, boy. <laughs> Snip a little too hard on that one. <laughs> smells real mild. It does. But a little bit of fruit in there. Yeah. At least I'm getting a little fruit. Yeah, a little bit. Mm. It's blonde. Maybe a little bit of, you know, like um, a tiny bit of citrus. A little bit. It's more just kind of citrus. Yeah. I got on my nose again. <laughs> Dude, you said fucking Damn sniffing it. the fucking bourbons, man. <laughs> Woo! Sniffing <laughs> straight in for yeah. it. Man, that smells good, though. It does smell it does good. It smells good. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Cheers, Let's do it. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. Very citrusy, actually. Yeah. What is that citrus, though? I get grapefruit. You get a little bit of bitterness. Bitterness. At the answer, I'm thinking more like uh, grapefruit. Just that, little bit, a little bit, yeah, bit of grapefruit, a little bit of grapefruit. But there is something a little it more fruity, it. something a little more fruity. I know you said it while we were inside talking. Maybe it's just because you said it, but fruity pebbles, maybe a little bit off the bat. Yeah, like yeah, after, after taste a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of sweet. Wow. Off the back. It, it is sweet really back. sweet. It's actually really good. That would be something I'd drink. Yeah, for sure. Uh, after like mowing the lawn or some dumb shit. Or while mowing the lawn. Or while, oh, absolutely. Yeah. While and after and probably before. Oh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> to be yeah. honest, no, that's a that's a light, refreshing beer. It is. This would be good in summertime for sure. Good in summertime for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Not right now. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, wintertime, you want to drink something heavy. Yeah, like a little a bit. Stout, porter, <laughs> something. Yeah. Got some consistency to it. Yeah. Fill your stomach up. No, yeah. this ain't bad. I just, I'd mark this as a summer beer for sure. Yeah, absolutely. But it's good. Light it citrus. Good. Light citrus taste on the front. Well, I'm saying like a little bit of grapefruit off the back end. Like, uh, after you let it sit for a little bit, you get a little bit more of that fruit. Almost fruity pebbles consistency, not quite as sweet. Yeah. But man, that is like that is really clean too. When it when it's oh, gone, yeah. it's gone. 
Yeah. I mean, there is yeah, nothing no. left hanging. Mm -mm, not doesn't have any like bad aftertaste or anything like that. Mm -mm. That's good. I like it. But for nine forty nine, probably wouldn't pay it again. Nope. Not for nine forty nine. Not for nine forty nine. I understand it's a craft brew. Yeah. It's a small scale type thing, and they don't quite have the funding to put it out like a big scale so yeah. they got charge extra believe me we've done the research no, yeah. we brew too so um they have to to the point they have to charge as much to make some sort of money yeah i'd probably market i mean granted you can't you gotta take into account all the materials and all the fucking you know ingredients and all that so like i get it the time but i probably i'd I pay between like seven and eight bucks. Yeah, I think that'd be a fair price point to yeah. give. Uh, at almost ten dollars, I probably wouldn't. I wouldn't pay that. No. Honestly, it's a good beer. It's a clean beer. It's refreshing. But um, that's not necessarily their fault, though. No, no, definitely so, not. It's not their fault that the company that they sold it to marked it up. Yeah, but I mean, I guess they gotta make money too. But no, I get it. Yeah, I mean, if they're like a little small scale thing selling out of their own shop. Yeah, and you, know, you you got to sit there like I'm, granted I haven't been to Kentucky so who knows Country Boy Brewing might have their own fucking brewery right there. But now if a small scale shop like a backwood shop or something a small shop home you know family run shop um, yeah pay or was uh, selling it for nine forty nine I'd buy it. Oh no, but I wouldn't go to like a big chain store and uh, buy. I it. would not go to Walmart. And pay ten bucks for that. Nope, wouldn't do it. Now, if it was a small business, all day, all day, every day, all day. There's that little spot down there called Travers. They sell um, some like small name brews yep. that they get directly from the brewers, and uh, I'd pay them just because that's oh, a yeah. mom and pop shop running it, selling out, and you know they're they're selling shit made by people local. And so for that, yes, I'd pay that price. Oh, yeah. And uh, that's a very reasonable price if you're sitting there trying to pay local, you know what I mean? Yep. Um, or if these guys had their own little brewery, right, and you get out to sit there and try all their beers and they sold six packs out of their brewery, I'd pay that. Mm -hmm. I would. Because you're supporting, you know, you see, you can well, see what you're supporting. Whereas if you go to Walmart and you see this little no name thing here, no. I mean, I could pick up a lot of other shit for less than that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, mean, but granted, I mean, you're also looking at, like, Sam Adams. What does Sam Adams six-pack typically go for? Ten ninety nine. I was going to say, ten ninety nine, eleven bucks. Yeah, here in West Virginia, it's ten ninety nine. If it's the seasonal, it's like $12. Yep. So, I mean, like, I get it. Like, this isn't horrible. It isn't. No. I'm just no. saying for what it is, I'd only pay between seven and eight bucks for it. They had an IPA there. I forget what the name of it was. But we're not IPA fans. No. Now, granted, I'm not saying that there aren't some that we enjoy. But typically, yeah. not IPA people. Especially when I like double. Because they have these triple IPAs now. Are yeah. you serious? Yeah, it's fucking crazy. You, you, you can drink it with a fork. Yeah. <laughs> Me, yeah, dude, the... there's that, yeah, like literally you can see all the, like, <laughs> what was it? It was the, um, fuck, what was it? I can't think of it now, but there's this beer that literally, it, when you open it up, it smells like a fucking can of weed. And oh! You drink it, and you drink it. I know what you're talking about. I was about. sitting there drinking it out of the fucking can, and I, I felt like my kids had been <laughs> sipping sipping on my fucking soda pop at, fucking with floaters all up in it, man. Oh, like, Jesus. I couldn't even get a clean sip. Not one. You got to your beer. Yeah. And yeah, so I'm not about fun. that. No, I ain't about that. No, I get it. You're gonna you're in the canning process and you want to keep the flavor and do all that shit. Some people like that. I'm not one of them guys. I'm not. Just personally, I'm not. Yep. So I know people that really really enjoy that beer and really really enjoy that style of brewing. That's I'm just not one of those people. And yep. we like he said we do brew. And I know that's not the outcome that I want for our yeah. brews. Nope. I was gonna bring over a couple of our brews tonight. Were you? I only had like one left though. Yeah. Damn it. Do all mine are going. I done drank them. 
I left mine in the back of the fridge on purpose to see how well they turn out after a couple months. Well, that know? last, the hazy lager. The hazy lager, yeah. The, I just drank the last one. Did you? Probably two weeks ago. That one's got a little bit more of a citrus bite on the rear. Now. More than, yeah. Now especially, yeah. More than I wanted. Oh, yeah. More than I wanted. Um, But it was good. Yeah. Um, for trial run, I mean, do a hybrid beer like that. It's, Hell yeah. It's kind of like throwing it together. Yeah, fuck it. So you had like your... It was good. I mean, shit. That's how that's how you get good at brewing. You just try shit. Try shit. That's it. But uh, these guys, like I said, this is a clean beer. It's not a bad beer. It's a pretty average beer. Like I said, I definitely enjoy this during the summertime. Now, if you got that down to like... I know it's not going to happen. But if you got down to like Miller for light prices, oh yeah, there dude. ain't no way in hell I'd buy Miller Light over that. Nope, fuck no. That I'd is buy this. Good. I'd buy that all day. If you got it down to like Miller Light prices, shit, boy, come on. shit, mm -hmm. that is good. At Miller Light price, you can't beat that. Fuck no, no. That's good. That's got, it's got a lot of good flavor. It does. It drinks like a light beer. It does. It really does. And yeah, it's not super filling. It's refreshing. It's a refreshing it beer. So, good job, Country Boy Brewing. Really good as job. As far as your beer taste and all that, um, I don't agree with your price point, but I get it sometimes I can't be helped. Yeah, So got to make money. Yeah, I mean, it's, it might not be this price everywhere. So, it, if yeah. you check a local store and you see Country Boy Brewing and you see it for a different price, you know. It's definitely worth something to pick up and try. For sure. No, it's a good beer. I think you'd enjoy it, especially for yeah. the guys that love sticking to like the craft brews. That's a big thing now. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of people are straying away from domestic, and yeah. they're going strictly to fucking craft and import. I look to see domestic start to hike their prices because they need to make up for yeah. their sales that they're losing. Yeah, they they have to fucking try and make up all the loss because a lot of guys, a lot of people now, this future generation coming up, all they want to drink is craft. What do they call them hipsters? Yeah, they call them hipsters. 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 hipsters are drinking all the craft beer all the craft beer now granted i ain't gonna sit there and lie to you and say that i haven't gone around to the different breweries trying all the different beers but i also like to try and support local but absolutely if i'm going to the store and you know i feel like different beer all the fucking time you're like man i could really go for you know a devil's backbone yeah. um schwartz beer short oh yeah that was fucking awesome yes that was a really good beer I I drank one of those, the last one, the one that you sent me home with. Yeah. I drank that one just like three weeks ago. No shit. No, dude, that was still good as shit. Oh, yeah. And then, like, uh, my old lady works at a restaurant called BJ's Brew House and Brewery. And, um, dude, they have some awesome just beers that they brew through the company. Uh, they got, like, a Piranha Blonde. Uh, they got a uh, Jeremiah Red. It's fucking awesome. Oh, so yeah. they have a lot of good beers there. I like I love beer. I like all Me too. I like trying I like trying all sorts of different beers. I've tried a lot of IPAs. There are fair few that I've actually liked. Um but that's my palate. That's what I like. Me and him are similar in that. Yeah. I'm the same way. Yeah. So no, I mean I, he enjoys a lot of heavier beers. I like to stick Yeah. I like the heaviest I like to go is a porter. Honestly. Okay. Yeah, you know, I'm yeah. a porter guy. I have found an oatmeal stout that I like. Really? Who? Yeah. Um, it's a place in Frederick, Brewer's Alley. They have an oatmeal stout there that is very, very good. Hmm. Try it, because I have a chocolate oatmeal stout recipe. Oh, we're going to have to make that. Oh, dude, yeah. I want to try it. I still have all the stuff for that lawnmower beer we're going to do. Well, we got to get back all to, yeah, to brewing. Brew it, man. Hell yeah. You know, fuck. Oh. We might start making, you know, some. Maybe we'll, we'll take videos. you through. Our, yeah, we'll take you through our brewing process. Uh, yeah. One of these times. So we'll definitely do that this year too. Like we said, we're gonna probably bring some more beer into the picture. Yeah. Um, granted, we'll still bring you bourbons. Um, I we're working on oh, yeah. what's that other uh, dark whatever the fuck it's called here. That Garrett was gonna fucking oh uh, uh, black draft. <laughs> dark dark draft. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, the fuck is dark. I guess black draft. Damn it, black draft distillery here in West Virginia. They make a bourbon that our buddy Garrett is, swears by. Man, and they make was, they make all different types too. Do they? They got like a mint julep, mint julep, julep, whatever. Julia, Julia. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, they got that, and they got a coffee one. So they, they okay, so like a mint julep is something that you order at a bar. Yeah. Make, but they actually make it they there. They bottle it. Yeah. yeah. No shit. So I'm like, all right. I yeah, we're going to have to go to Black Draft here soon and uh, get some of their products. We were offered, if we wanted to, Crystal from Big Apple yeah. so that she can get us in contact with them, and we could probably take a tour of their whole that's it's a very especially. small place, but yeah. Still, if they let us, uh, you know, uh, take some video while we're in there. I don't know. I have to talk to them. I'm yeah, just trying obviously. to get a hold of them for a freaking barrel. I just want a barrel for a, like a, like a top for my, for the, for the bar out there. Hell yeah. So I want a barrel and put a round top on it for, for a fucking table. What am I trying to fucking say? Table. For a table out there, yeah. Fuck! Like a high bar? Yeah. A high top table, yeah. High top table, yeah. So, That'd it's just cool. like, shit, I'm emailing, 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 and emailing some more, and nobody's fucking getting back to me. I was say, the only thing, closest thing I could do for you as far as that goes, granted, <laughs> a bourbon barrel top would be way fucking cooler, but I'm an electrician yeah. by trade, and I do a lot of industrial and commercial I work. I you're going to tell me. So, we get all them reels all reels, the time. Yeah, I was going to say. We get a fuck ton of them. So, especially since we're doing, we're just, we're doing a, a water treatment center at the VA here in Martinsburg. And, uh. Oh, you got plenty of reels then. Oh, yeah. A lot of wire. A lot of wire to pull for. Dude, we got seven wells to pull to. Oh. Yeah. So, we're getting a lot of wire. A lot of reels. So, but anyway. anyway back to wait, this wait. Overall, dude, we just went on a fucking tangent. We I did. apologize, people. Big one. <laughs> overall, right. ready for this beer. Dude. For, okay, for being on the okay overall rating for craft beer and being a blonde, what the blonde ale, right? Yeah, American blonde. American blonde ale, dude. I'd give that a nine point five. Nine point five. Nine for an American five. blonde for what it is. Hell yeah, that's good. I give it a nine. Nine nine point five. Yeah, I yep. agree with you. Yep. Uh, Actually, you know what? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to give it a 9 because uh, it's, it's the taste is clean. You know, it eight, is. 8.59. 8.5 to 9. Because the taste, lower. Is, the taste is clean. No. 8.59. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got to do it. I got to do it. I got to speak my mind. I wanted to agree with you all the way. That's okay. But I'm going to give it an 8.5 to a 9 because there's nothing fucking spectacular about it. Okay. It I tastes understand good. where you're coming from. I get it. I understand where you're coming from. Because, okay, to me... As a craft beer. That stand out. To be different than everybody else. Exactly. You know what I mean? For me, the Fruity Pebble back in was enough to put me in an oh, You've already seen that in a lot of Googles. I know that. And that's a mainstream. That's a mainstream beer. Damn it. You know what I mean? I'm still holding at 9.5. You can hold I'm still that. holding there. I'm going to have to go. <laughs> like, I'm not saying that it's a bad beer. I it know, is no, a it's good, not. It's a very good beer. But there's nothing that makes it to where I'd be like, yeah, that country boy, you need to go out and buy that right now because they're fucking awesome. I'd say this is a really good beer and you ought to try it. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to be oh, like, yeah. dude, fucking go out there and buy it right now. Still going? We're still recording. All right. So good. <laughs> <laughs> we got to check there. Once <laughs> but uh, yeah, like there's just nothing. It's good. It's clean. It tastes like an American blonde. It does. It does. It has a slight fruity pebble taste on the rear pebble, end. Yeah, taste on the rear end, and it has that really citrus smell though. That yeah, the, the grapefruit, uh, orange, yeah. like a blood orange grapefruit yeah. kind of mixture. You know what I mean? Off the initial opening of the can. Yes. And then you drink it, and you get that real fruity flavor on the back end. So that's that's good. But I've seen it before. And I've seen it greater. You can hold on to that 9.5. That's fine. That's fine. But I'm going to go with 8.5. Okay. Eight Final, point, rating. Nine point five. Final rating. Final rating. So we're five. going at 9 then. Because I'm 9.5 or 8.5. Yeah. So Overall rating nine. between the both of us, we'll give it a solid 9. Solid okay? 9. Solid 9. So, like I said, uh, they did a really good job with this beer. It tastes really good. good. It is good. And sometimes it's really hard. To get something that clean. True. No, it's true. It's very, very true. You really have to fucking dial your shit in to to get something no, they that definitely, clean of a I'm, beer. I'm telling you, they put in a lot of work, and they it's did. a good beer. 
It is a very, very clean beer. Like, I would definitely drink this during the summertime. I would. Yeah. Wholeheartedly. Oh, yeah. Especially if they fucking dial the price back a little bit. Granted, that's, that's also not entirely problem. their fault. That's not entirely their fault. No, it's not. I understand that. But, if they dialed that back a little bit, or if they could work something out to dial that price back, dude, I'd, I'd probably solely fucking contribute no. just to the fucking blonde... American Good. blonde fucking portion of it. It's not even in West Virginia. It's from Kentucky. Yeah, that's a fact. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. They're neighbors. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> what is it, a five-hour trip? Yeah, Kentucky? some shit like that. Yeah, they hit the border of Kentucky five hours from here. <laughs> but you're there. <laughs> hey, fuck it. Why not? <laughs> no, but, okay, so yeah, overall rating for the beer is a nine. No. Um, price point. Oh, I'm going at a seven. 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 Because uh, I've seen seven. craft bre craft brews that are way higher than this. Oh, yeah. With that tastes the same fucking same. So well, I've had craft brews that taste like shit. It tastes like dog shit to me and to a lot of other people that I've talked to for fourteen ninety nine a fucking six pack. Ugh, like that. Ooh, I remember that one that we did. Um, damn it! It was the, it was the Scotch style ale. Yeah, Scotch style ale. Oh, who did that? It wasn't Founders, was it? Yes, it was Founders. <laughs> Founders Scotch style ale. Don't ever buy uh, it, please. It was like 13 bucks. It was nasty. It was a $13 beer, and it was awful. I agree. So, it's in bottles, but still. Jesus, man. Yeah. It was fucking terrible. It was. Who even was came awful. up with that idea? Yeah. I, I, okay. I, <laughs> I commend you for being that uh, ambitious, I guess I should say. Ambitious, creative. Creative. To do that, but man, once you tasted that at your damn fucking brew house, I wouldn't even fucking distribute that anywhere. Yeah, and I don't mind scotch. And I'm a bourbon no. drinker. No. But dude, there's some things that don't need to be mixed. I guess the scotch and beer is one of them. Oh, God. At least the way they did it. Yeah, at least the way they did it. I'm not saying that all people that try it, because oh. I'm sure there are others. I'm not saying that they're all bad, but that one was not good at all. Oh, no. That was the Ugh. beer version of Creek, of creek Water. I knew you were going to say it, because I was thinking it. <laughs> the beer uh, version of our creek water fucking whiskey. Uh, all bad. right. All right, well, I think that's about it, to be honest. We don't really go Price too real deep no, in the beer. The beer. Um, what else would we do? I mean, there ain't, <laughs> there ain't nothing else, I don't think. Mm -mm. I mean, the no. canning process is good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like the label and everything on the can. That's awesome. Yeah, no, it's a flywater fisherman. Yeah, at least it looks like that. Looks like a flywater fisherman. Flywater fisherman. fisherman. Yeah. It's fucking dark. <laughs> it is fucking dark. I can't yeah. see. Country boy Brown, they got a truck in the middle. as their insignia. I and like that. Yeah, that's yeah that's cool. And you know, the whole canning process is good, cool. It's country, country boy shit. And, you know, I like if, it. If, you're, if you're a country boy going out to your fucking hometown bar, I guarantee you've heard the term cougar bit before. I had to. <laughs> so, with that, I'm going to get me another. Oh, yes. Grab one more. See, you get this one, get another one. No, I got this right. one. No big deal. I'll just shake this one up. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Crack her open. Well, y'all, take her easy. If she's easy, take her twice. Yes, sir. <laughs>